Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is the Daily News for October 22nd, 2020. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you that creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful, or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. <clears throat> also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So yeah, the daily news for October 22nd, 2020. Um, yeah, this is the new start of Scorpio season. Mm -hmm. October 22nd. Let's, let's get the general energy for the daily news for October 22nd, 2020. This is a general reading. Please take what resonates, leave the rest, right? It's not going to resonate with anybody, everybody. And don't manifest any bad stuff into your life, okay? All right, general energy for October 22nd, 2020 is... Ten of Wands. So there's a bit of a burden, right? But let's not manifest it in if it's not your story, okay? But somebody's having a burden. You know, something's weighing heavy on them, right? That's all I can really explain for that one. Let's go ahead and find out what's really going on, right? What is this? Uh-huh. Somebody's got a secret. Somebody's got a secret. They're not letting go of this secret, right? Somebody is keeping something a secret, and this is what the burden is, okay? And it could have to do with a Queen of Wands in the reverse, right? <clears throat> Queen of Wands in the reverse. She's an angry woman, right? She's not very happy at all. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Somebody maybe wanted to start something new in emotions, but <clears throat> wah, wah, wah. just kidding. <laughs> We do have judgment here, right? Somebody's going to be placing judgment on this burden because I don't think they're going to be able to want to hang out with that burden for too much longer, right? Holding this secret in from this Queen of Wands who is a very angry individual. She's like not even passionate. She's super angry. She's mad all the time, right? Probably talks a lot of shit. And then we have this Ace of Cups right here. And this person, this is about starting something new, but... It's like there's always like promises. This card reminds me of somebody like dangling a cup in front of her and just like, here, come, get the cup, get the cup. Like kind of like somebody dangling a carrot in front of a rabbit. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that feels like. And I think that somebody is, you know, somebody is coming to understand what's going on here and they're not going to deal with that. And they don't want, that's like a fake start type of energy. You know what I mean? And this is the judgment that they're going to place on it. You know, this has been too much of a burden for me, and I'm not going to be dealing with this, right? Let's find out what's going on here. Let me get some cards here. What is that moon card doing there? What is that moon card there? Basically, there's a message of love coming into somebody, some sort of emotional something, right? And it's after some sort of heartbreak, right? Somebody is not allowing this heartbreak to come in. Um, I mean, uh, not heartbreak, um, deception, right? Um, this is telling me that somebody's coming in with a message of love, right? This was the secret. Somebody was holding inside that they love somebody, right? But they deceived that person. So it's going to be... They're worried that this person's not going to believe them when they come in for that message of love, right? So when they come in with that message of love, Spirit is saying, because we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse, it's not deceptive. This person will be telling the truth. What's the next card? Let me get one more card for that moon card. Just one more card. One more card for that moon card. this one back we're going to take this one look ten of cups it's in the upright they're coming to tell you that they want happiness with you they want um some sort of um uh, happy family happy home whatever and they'll they're telling the truth because we have the deception card in the uh, reverse so 
you know, the backstabbing card in the reverse, opposite of backstabbing is, you know, being loyal, I guess, or, yeah, yeah, being loyal, loyal to their word. Queen of Wands in the reverse, why is she there? Why is this Queen of Wands in the reverse? Why is this Queen of Wands in the reverse? All right, so um, somebody, uh, Queen of Wands in the reverse, right? Somebody is wanting to um, make swift movement to create stability. And um, they are wanting to work things out, but they want to work it out with the Queen of Wands in the upright. All right, we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse, Queen of Wands in the upright. Um, <clears throat> somebody here, um, I don't know, maybe Queen of Wands is going through some healing of her, her own, and eventually she will be in the uh, upright position. Um, cause this, you know, right here, she's angry right here. She's mad at everything. You know, she might find out that somebody, okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. The secret was, well, somebody was coming in and somebody is coming in to tell this queen of wands who's angry at them because she's in the reverse. She's pissed off talking shit, right? She's mad, but somebody comes in with, with the secret. Somebody reveals to this queen of wands in reverse what the deal is. And the deal is that they love her, right? And they are not lying. They know they have deceived in the past, but they want the 10 of cups with her. She receives this message of a swift, passionate message from this person. This person is telling her that they want to work it out with her. And then now all of a sudden she's in the upright. She's not mad at that person anymore. But you know, these are just words, you guys. So if you are uh, resonating with being that pissed off queen of wands who hears all this stuff and then all of a sudden she's cool, you know, because she hears the truth. Just make sure that this person shows you and doesn't just tell you. You know what I'm saying? Because this person has told you before. Don't let this be just like those other times. You know what I'm saying? Why is this Ace of Cups in the reverse? Why is this Ace of Cups in the reverse? Why is this Ace of Cups in the reverse? <clears throat> Dang, that's a whole bunch of reversal cards. I'm going to put them all back. It's like a little thick stack. <laughs> Why is this Ace of Cups in reverse? Let me get three cards, please. Let me get three cards, please. All right, so we first card out, we have the Two of Cups, and it's in the upright, right? Two people sharing emotions with each other. Two people in love. What else is this Ace of Cups in the reverse for? <clears throat> nine of pentacles in the reverse now this also doubles as the hermit so um somebody could have gotten out of hermit mode or there is a single individual who doesn't seem to be very balanced right now because uh they didn't get that new start in love that they wanted possibly uh, what else do you have for this ace of cups Six of Swords, and so this individual may be actually leaving this toxic situation to go towards something uh, that's not toxic, you know, because maybe that's what was going on here. There was toxicity. Somebody maybe had somebody hanging, waiting, and that's, you know, toxicity. So this person is no longer, uh, this person will be leaving this situation to find balance elsewhere. That's the judgment that will be made on this burden. We also have at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody comes in with truth about feeling trapped, money coming in, truth, but that truth severs a relationship and puts an end to the situation. No more waiting around. Start working on yourself. You have that one last fight left for your son and you want victory there, but... Hmm. Get these up let's get the next three set of cards and see what's up with those right <clears throat> i mean this was kind of not that bad but there's you know it's hard it's hard to 
believe somebody who has deceived you in the past, you know, it's hard to believe that they've changed, especially if they've done it like several times to you. And you know what? It's your fault for accepting it all those times, just like it's my fault for me accepting all these times that somebody did that to me. So I'm just, I'm not just finger pointing at you guys. It's, it's me too. I've, I've done that shit before. That's why I'm talking about it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but let's see what the next three cards are out for this. All right, let me get three cards for the daily news for October 22nd, 2020, October 22nd, 2020, October, woo, that's too much, right? I saw the world card though, October 22nd, 2020, October 22nd, 2020, whoa, it's like they're heavy or something, <laughs> the cards are all heavy and shit. All right, so... One, two, three. Okay, look, we have the magician at the bottom of the deck. So somebody here is trying to maybe manifest their way out of this burden. I don't know, because we have the Ten of Wands and then we have the magician. So if anything, I would think that somebody is trying to manifest out of this burden, right? This is too much for somebody to handle or they don't want to deal with it. It's just, I feel like it's a little bit of a mess. You know what I'm saying? Like to, somebody's going to have to figure out how they're going to clear this stuff. <clears throat> Yeah, they're, they've been through some sort of battle. See, here's the Nine of Wands. Battle over these secrets. You know, somebody's definitely going to have to speak up. These cards, this is a blue card, this moon card. So somebody's going to need to speak up about that secret. <clears throat> or that illusion or whatever it is that's causing somebody, you know, this burden and this fight. <clears throat> Gosh. I'm not gonna, I don't know. I'm not gonna really blame on the retrograde kind of thing. I think I'm just thirsty. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so now we have the Four of Cups right here, right? <clears throat> we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. And remember, by this person coming in, the Queen of Wands softens up in junior and she's in the upright because she finds out this information, right? <clears throat> so she might feel um, before that information came in, though, she may have felt like she had missed an opportunity or she was waiting for somebody to come in and give her an offer, right? And with this five of wands right here, um, she didn't want to have to fight over love. Yeah, she didn't want to have to fight over love, right? You shouldn't have to fight over love. You know, if you have to fight for someone, they're not even worth it. You know what I mean? Why would you have to fight or be in any competition for somebody? Leave that shit alone. It ain't, it, in the long run, you're going to find out it's not worth shit. I'm telling you. I'm serious. <clears throat> Anyways. Um, why is this Nine of Wands right here? Why is this Nine of Wands right here? Okay. I'm going to put this Queen of Pentacles back, but somebody's dealing with a Queen of Pentacles right here. Nine of Wands and the Moon card. In the background, Queen of Pentacles, right? She's doing something involved with that situation. Starting out here, we have the Ten of Wands. There's that burden, right? Um, and, and, you know, we have the Nine of Wands, and then we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, well, at least you're finishing the cycle of these secrets, right? Yeah, look, truth is going to come out. <clears throat> and the truth is, is that you want to make an offer to somebody, Right? Or something may have been a lost opportunity or missed opportunity that you might be trying to manifest back. Yes. All right. So why is this Four of Cups here? Why is this Four of Cups here? Why is this Four of Cups here, please? All right. So we have the Nine of Cups in the reverse, right? Nine of Cups in the reverse, wish fulfillment, but in the reverse, it's uh, selfishness and excess, right? Drug use, partying, you know, taking it just way out of control, okay? You know, when it's in the upright, okay, it's like, okay, yay, we're getting engaged, let's have a little party, everything is nice. Weeks over, Ten of Cups comes around, okay, you start talking about serious stuff, and then you move on with life. 
But with this Nine of Cups in the reverse, no, there's no just moving on to the Ten of Cups. No, this is like in party mode and not getting out of it, getting fucked up every day and just, you know, being high and drunk and whatever. This is about drug use, you know, overdoing it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so that's what's going on right here. Somebody is like, you know, in this energy, maybe this Queen of Wands, uh, maybe somebody wanted wish fulfillment, but it turned into selfishness and excess. And she realized it pissed her off and she's turning down this opportunity of a relationship with, with somebody that she wanted the nine of cups with, because that person is all about selfishness and excess. You know, she was possibly even waiting for this, this person to change, whatever, you know, let me get one more card for, uh, that four of cups. One more card. Yeah, she's letting it go. She's letting this go. She doesn't want to deal with that anymore. No more dealing with druggies and alcoholics or whatever. She'd rather just go without, right? Yeah, she. this is not her. She doesn't want this anymore. Five of Wands, Ace of Cups in the reverse. Five of Wands, Ace of Cups in the reverse. Five of Wands. Ace of Cups in the reverse. No more fighting for love. She's not fighting for love anymore, you know? And look, here's the King of, of Wands right here, right? Queen of Wands, King of Wands. This is her counterpart, okay? Yeah, this is her counterpart. He And he's in the upright. And he's the magician. In this deck, he is the magician. And here he is at the end right here. So this burden here is somehow related to manifesting, right? Somebody may ha be having problems manifesting, and it could be because the Queen of Wands is not happy. She could be like the battery to the manifesting machine. And if she's not happy, ain't no one going to manifest shit. You know what I'm saying? It could be something like that. You know, I don't know why I even got that thought. Well, that's why I'm sharing it with you, okay? Um, so she might be like, you know, the battery that energizes the manifesting machine that all these people are using. And when she's pissed off, ain't nobody manifesting shit, right? Oh, there was, there was two there. So we have, yeah, look, King of Wands dealing with the Queen of Swords. And there's passion between these two, but there was some fighting and some false starts in love. So... Somebody was fighting with somebody because maybe they promised some emotions, but maybe it was not real. It was just something that they're just trying to manifest and trying to manifest or manipulate somebody into sex or something, maybe. I don't know. But we do have somebody here wanting to take a leap of faith with another individual. Uh, King of uh, Pentacles, somebody that they, he might have backstabbed in the past, but he wants victory now. Um, maybe to create some sort of a swift movement to create stability uh, with the Queen of Wands. There she is. Look. So, okay. And this plot thickens, right? So now we got the Queen of Wands chit chatting it up with the King of Pentacles. Yup. Look. Three party situation, lover situation. Damn. Okay, well, you know what? That's that's enough for one day, but I do see here, but there's a couple, and then there's another dude in the picture. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. I'm just saying, Queen of That's why the Queen of Pentacles is grumpy. You know, when you're in a relationship and you start arguing a lot with your person, it's most likely because um you just want to start a fight so you can leave them and go running to the other person and oh, they were such a jerk and you know, talk shit about them and and then it gets like a back and forth and it turns into a three-party thing, right? Right. And then, you know, it's so stupid, childish kid games. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so stupid. But people be doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so I do have the stars, you guys. So let's go ahead. Let's get, let's see what's in the stars for this reading. Let's see what's up with this shit. Okay, look. Let's see what's in these stars. Okay, so first we're gonna do some letters. So this could res this could be your story, or if it resonates, it could be specifically for you. If you're a brother, or a sister, or whatever, let's get some stars here. I guess I can get them up. <laughs> okay, so we do have the letter K. 
we have the letter B, C, L, U, O, sorry, that's a Q. We have an F. We have a Y, an S, and a W. So the, this could be an acronym. It could be a first, middle, last initial. Maybe you could spell a word with it. I don't know. But that's what the letters are. So let's read what the story behind them is. Okay. So somebody is very grateful. There's a grateful bunch of people here, right? Possibly the viewers, right? <laughs> and we've all been, and they are broken, right? We've all been broken. That's why we're here watching friggin' tarot card readings because we're broken individuals trying to find answers, right? Yeah, I'm serious. Okay. Anyways, we, uh, and that's what we do. We have used our, our inventive, uh, ideas because, uh, to watch tarot card readings, <laughs> uh, because we have a crush on somebody, right? And we want to know about that person because we are questioning this thing. Why? Because we've all been ghosted or something like that, right? Close to it. And we do know that, that we are in some sort of divine, um, relationship right and it's horrible you know could be the twin flame <laughs> um yeah dealing with immature individuals right there's usually an immature one and a mature one or an immature one and a kind one sorry maybe an empath you know what i'm saying and uh yeah in the end we will just get to you know accomplish whatever we came here for <laughs> Right, because we the last word is accomplish. Yeah, you can't see it. I'm gonna get a new camera soon. One of these days. All right. So yeah, that's what I have for you guys today for the daily news for October twenty second, twenty twenty. Thank you so much for visiting. If this resonated in any ways, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. I would love that. It's good for your karma points. Yeah. All right. Also, uh, keep a true love energy. Happy, friendly, and loving types. We have nothing to fear because we stay calm and we stay cheerful. And my name is Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.